Right. Do you think it's possible that life from other solar systems was injected and that that was what was uh, the origin of life on Earth? That, yeah, the panspermia idea. Um, that That's seen as a low probability event by people who studied the origin of life, but that's because uh, then they would be out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think they'd be out of the job because you just then say you have to figure out how life started there. But then you have to go there. We can study life on earth much easier we could study it in the lab much easier because we could replicate conditions that are from an early um, earth much easier from a chemistry perspective from a biology perspective you can intuit a bunch of stuff you can look at different parts of earth and just to an extent i mean the early earth was completely unlike the current earth right yeah. there was no oxygen so uh one of my colleagues at caltech uh joe kershnick uh is um, certain, right? Well, something like a hundred percent certainty <laughs> that life started on Mars and came to Earth uh, in on Martian meteorites. Um, this is not a problem that I like to kind of think about too much. Like the origin of life, it's a fascinating problem, but you know, it's not physics, and I just like, I just don't don't love it. It's the same reason you don't love. I, I thought you're a musician. So yeah. mu music is not physics either. So why no, why are you so into it? Hundred percent physics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, no. Look. Uh, in all seriousness, though, I uh, there are a few things that I really, really enjoy. I genuinely enjoy physics. I genuinely enjoy music. I genuinely, you know, enjoy martial arts, and I genuinely enjoy uh, my family. I should have said that all in a reverse order or something. But I like to focus on these things and, and not worry too much about, about everything else. You know what I mean? Yes. Just because there is a, like you said earlier, there's a time constraint. You can't do it all. There's many mysteries all around us. So, um, and they're all beautiful in, in different ways. To me, that thing I love is artificial intelligence mm -hmm. that, uh, Perhaps I love it because eventually I'm trying to suck up to our future overlords.